I want to pray for you. Uh, I, I felt like if I can use my finger to pray for you, come. Yes. You, because I've been praying for you. In my heart here, Mama, this man is, has been following us a lot. Today, I am praying in my heart, I want God to use this man. To use this man. The situation must change from today. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and please, you must help this man. I heard that if I pray for this man three times, this man will be a prophet. Like a prophet. Brother, did you ever see a vision? Huh? Yes, it happens many times. Did. Many times? Eh? Yes. So, uh, did you ever prophesy? Here in church. Here in church. One, when we're in Tembisa. I say, come, you, you professor. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Stand up. Me, after I pray for you, I want to tell you that from today you're a prophet. Jesus. Can you bring this man to me? Look at me. In Jesus' name. Bring him for the last time. I want to tell you like what I did to others. That's what I'm hearing now. If I, yes, I, as I'm hearing from others and hearing others and hearing from God, I'm hearing three times here. I'm hearing from others and hearing from God, and I also hear myself here that we are a prophet from today. Amen. Yeah. issue of your yeah, prophet, you will see that it's not an easy thing. If you see what is happening to that man. Oh, brother, let me touch your stomach. I mean, you, when you are, you are asleep, they feed you. That's why you dream eating a lot. Mm -hmm. huh? That's true. That's uh, true. You dream eating. So when I touch your stomach, I feel there are things they put in your stomach here. Mm. I feel I was supposed to be. It makes me angry in the spirit. Amen. So I believe you are free. You will never dream these things. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananesa. And with me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Proud Nube. I'm from Zimbabwe originally, but I stay here in Johannesburg, Santin. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, he mentioned that I start dream um, eating, I see myself eating in the dreams, of which I do confirm it to be true. Um, I specifically remember one occasion where um, I think I saw myself at work in the dream, of course. Um, I was eating something. There were some people there. But I believe I was eating meat. There was like lots of meat. That's, that's one particular dream that I remember. Yeah. And how has these dreams affected you? Yeah, lately I've noticed like for the past 12 months or more, um, I've been forgetting my dreams because I believe I'm one of the people with um, a gift of dreams. I used to dream quite a lot. I could have six, seven dreams in one night and I remember all of them. But lately, um, I don't dream much. 
when I do dream, I forget the details of the dream. So I believe it is one of the um, devices that the enemy was using to, to block me from remembering what I see in the dreams. Hence, he was taking advantage. And I've noticed also that um, I've been going down quite a bit in terms of finances. And basically concentration at work. Yeah. Those yeah, and, and relationships as well, yeah. I've, I've been challenged quite a lot. Um, for a man my age to be single, you get girls, they go, you get someone, they go, and yeah, I think I think that's one of the things that the enemy is using to just keep me bound, and yeah. And how do you feel that today men of God looked at you and ministered upon your life, and even told you the, re the root cause of, you know, what's been causing these problems in your life? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really so happy, because like, um, I think from yesterday, I just felt like coming here. I haven't been here for years. I think over three, four years, to be honest. So I just felt like, I think yesterday or the day before, I just felt like, no man, I'll be off this Wednesday. Why not go to Charis? And then I just started watching a few videos, just remind me of like uh, the grace that is here. And yeah, I just, I just came. I just came today and I'm glad that he, he located me. And before he came, during the time of intercession, I, I was praying that the Lord may use the man of God to, you know, locate me and just uh, speak a word into my life. And this is exactly what happened. I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad. Yeah. Come, come, come on, you spirit. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing to her? Speak up. They're attacking this woman. And this thing must come to an end today. You must leave her. Leave her. Leave this lady. Come on, leave her. Rise up, Sissy. Where's your husband, Mama? He's at work. So today, you need to forgive him. You hear me? Yes. Forgive him because there are many issues that are making your spirit to be tired. And the, this attack is coming from your family. Marriage in your family does not last. So forgive this man. You will be delivered as you are delivered. Amen. God bless you. You have a demon, eh? It's a demon that is trying to attack you, eh? Huh? Eh? That's why you can't sleep well. Yes. Eh? Yes. So when you are sleeping like this, there's a demon that comes there. Yeah. And press you. Yes. I want to sleep with you. That demon. Yes. I touch you there, there. That demon wants to kill your husband. <laughs> Hey, you can't kill that man. You can't kill that. Where's the husband? So this stomach here is an attack. Huh? See, see. It's a demon want to kill you, brother. Jesus. Man. Come. I'll we'll touch you here. Well? I do not want to kill you. Come on. Come on. You demon. Huh? Why do you want to kill you? Huh? I can't hear you. Why do you want to kill this man? You spirit. Huh? Why do you want to kill my brother? You can't kill my brother. I believe it will never come tonight. Yeah. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Malifu and I came from Tembisa with Mandela. 
Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God uh, said to me, um, I'm not sleeping at night and this demon, it want to kill my husband. And he prayed for me. After that, he prayed for my husband also. Then he said, this demon won't kill my husband and we are free. Uh, it is true, I was, um, I'm not sleeping. I was not sleeping at all, especially at night. And I will turn on, on all of the side, but I'm, I'm not sleeping well, actually, with peace. And my husband, he was facing an issue of um, appendix. That's why the st the, he have a... Um, a, a, sh a shapeless in the stomach because of the operation. So we found out today that this demon, the plan, it was, it won, the demon wanted to kill my husband. So I confirm the prophecy is true. And I believe that as the man of God has prayed for us, we are free and we are delivered. This demon won't kill my husband and my, my husband is free also in the name of Jesus Christ. And I would like to say to the viewers, they must believe in Jesus and they must keep carry on praying and carry on following the, the word of God and believe in prophecy, believe in the word of God also, because whatever that they said here, it's happening. And whatever we have told here, it came to pass. Yes, yeah, so I believe in Jesus. I believe in the, in the prophecy also. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you. We are always oh. hearing about it. You see, I'm clapping you. You'll get a job. Amen. <laughs> you me? Amen. Because you, you want a job. So, with all your heart. Amen. Eh? Amen. What is amen? I, I receive. You receive what? <laughs> the job. Yes, you want a job with all your heart. That's what I'm calling you. Yeah, because you are here for that. Amen. That's why I clap you here. Did you lose a baby? Yes. Huh? Yes. You lose a baby? Yes. But not in a good way? Yes. And you can't tell anyone? Yes, did. And it has become a sin before God? Yes, I know. Look at your life. It's mixed up because of what you did. Yes. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Sintlantlamnise. I'm coming from Winnie Mandela. Ma, today during the service, the apostle located you and he spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, what the apostle told me, it was very true. Because he was telling me about the losing the child. And it was very true. I did lose the child in a wrong way. I did the abortion. And I never told anyone, which, word, which, is, which means it was very true. I've never told anyone. Amen. Yeah. And how has this affected you? It's, it's very affected me. Even in my marriage, I didn't even tell, tell my husband because it affected my marriage. It looks like my husband know, knows about it, according to the experiencing from devil. But I didn't tell him anything. I deny. So it was very true. I didn't tell anyone because it, 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 I, I, I was fearing to tell anybody. I didn't say anything, which means it was very true. And Ma, how do you feel that today the man of God located you and minister upon your life? I'm very, I, I'm, I'm so blessed because I am delivered. That pain was killing me inside without no, not telling anyone. So when the apostle located me, I feel so free because God knows the secret inside my heart. I'm thankful for God. I'm free. 